It's that time again. What's up, everybody? This is Dad's Land and Fab. Hope you enjoy the show. Deuces. Boom. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning. Good day to you all. Welcome to another episode of Dad's Lads and Cabs. Here we are. Another day, another filming session. Oh mate. I'm I'm doing a you I'm doing a you, mate. I'm feeling a bit fucking deflated today. I don't know why. Oh, he's got the negative Mickey item. Oh. <laughs> I'm not I'm not negative. Do you know every the little the little of things are pissing me off and I don't know why. Niall. I'm just oh. a bit I feel like I'm about to shit and stamp in it, you know what I mean? Oh, it makes a change, normally me. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh no. I don't like it because it's not I don't, I don't like know if it. <laughs> you... I don't know if I'm tired, if I'm hungry or I haven't I haven't eaten. I haven't eaten today, so I'm I'm probably hungry. He's hangry. But I just just no, because I'm not. I just feel a bit. I just went out and hoover my lawn. That, that makes me feel better. As much as weird that sounds, have artificial turf. grass. You have to hoover that shit. Grass. That makes me feel better. You know, my door and my Wait. wife make me feel better. But it's not anything. I can't. Do you know when you just something's wrong and you can't? Like nothing is wrong. Nothing. I Everything's that. fine. That's what I get into sometimes when my bills are paid. I've got a little bit of money. Yeah. I got exactly. I got cash on my hip. Everything's fine. I've got nothing to moan about. And I shouldn't fucking moan because people do have things to moan about. No. But at the same time, I'm just a bit... All day. I've been like it all fucking day. Could be worse. You could have buried someone today. So... Fuck's sake, Mickey, man. Don't fucking do that. <laughs> could be worse, though. Could have fucking... Could have had to dig a fucking owl. That was yesterday. Oh, shut up, so, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what it is, people. I don't know. Like I'm not. I'm not bitching. You know what I mean. Leave I'm a, not. I'm not trying to leave a comment in something to make Niall happy. Yes. Something, <laughs> something, something that would cheer him up. There you go. New, new thing for you now. There you go. Read the bottom. Read the bottom. Someone's. Someone's going to be like, "Oh, visit that new place." Visit that new massage parlor on Fish Street. It's really good. <laughs> there you go. Read it. Read it. Yeah. If you enjoy the show, give the thumbs up and leave a comment, and we'll read them out on the next show. Yes, interactive. That's what it is. Isn't it? Um, isn't it funny how that that that's like that's so new to me, like the listeners. <laughs> it's like. It's like, this stuff's new to Niall too. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's got to learn sometimes. <laughs> he doesn't know about it. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, I don't know what it is. Like, do you, Obviously, I was going to say, do you have other days where you just feel a bit... Pfft. Yes. But you but do. Normally, you, inve- normally than you invented, I invented, you invented the- them. <laughs> yeah, this it's normally a couple of weeks... Nowadays, anyway, before it was just like continuous, but like I said, it's, it's that big cry helped me the other week. So <laughs> yeah, may, maybe, maybe next week, oh, now it. It, it, it will happen to you. Who knows? I'm not doing one. There's no way I'll do one live or while we're he, filming. He, um, yeah, so we may have a guest next week that might help with some of you guys out there that are interested in a bit of hypnotherapy, past life regression, anything along those lines. And this is the man that helped me release 800 years of stress. <laughs> so two, um, sen- two Senecot later. <laughs> yeah. So fingers crossed, all goes to plan. And in the the coming weeks we should have another guest on the show and another Ooh. awesome episode look so, forward some, to that really look some, forward to that that'd be awesome some of that niall's been yeah like he says looking forward to it he's gonna have lots of questions for Paul. just because i just because i want to know i want to know and i think he'll get sick of me asking so many questions because he'll be like do you know when it'll be like a fan i'll just be asking question after question that's because good. there's that's, so much that's what we want that's what the viewers want there's they don't so know much man. i want to know yeah because I, f- I feel like he'll be like, he'll have some answers that I'll just be blown away by. 
I'll be like, okay, get back and just sit down, Mark. Sit down and listen. <laughs> like, the man, like the first, like the first time I listened to David Attenborough, I was just. Ah, oh, it's his birthday today. Happy birthday, ninety-eight years. I oh, know. Don't. I just. I literally just seen a post on Instagram. And it was a picture. David and, you, and you thought he was dead. Oh, oh, I did as well this, this afternoon. <laughs> my, honestly, I don't like. I said we said this before, but there's two main characters for me is obviously Sir David Attenborough and Sir David Jason. For me, it's is the day that that get announced. Dale, it will be it will be a fucking sad day for the nation. I'm telling you, but also a very 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 sad day for myself because i think i honestly i don't think i i, I think for me that'll be like an uncontrollable cry do you do you think they should do a christmas only fools and horses special as a way of this will be it never again no nope. no wouldn't you want that no nope. why because uh, uh, don't it's it's probably not going to be shit is it no but don't 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 just don't fuck with it like there's oh. between between David Jason and Nicholas Lindhurst, there's, there's a lot of friction there. Is there? Also, a lot of love. Yeah, yeah. They don't re- they don't speak. Oh, that's like James Corden and uh, Matt Horn, Gavin and Stacey. They're the power. They're doing they're, it. They're not really speaking. But yeah, the, the Christmas Day episode. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I love Gavin and Stacey. I want to see is Smithy gonna say yes to Nessa? In the street on it, Christmas Day. It's such a thing, that not it, for the UK population to be like, one, we need to know what happened on that fishing trip. Fishing trip, so, fucking it, yeah. What do you reckon they happened? I don't know. How can you speculate? How can I you reckon speculate? they got cold, their clothes were wet, and they just cuddled in boxes or something like that. to keep. That's not stand- that Mickey, that's standard survival technique. <laughs> yeah, I know, in, but they make it out like weird it's something, shit. <laughs> something dirty, don't they? They make it out it's, it's something dirty. But that's the whole funny point about it. Yeah, that's what like, I mean. So it might be something really simple. When you think that. about it, because the one, the one that always brings it up is Bryn, right? And Bryn's a bit fruit. Bryn's that, a bit fruity himself. <laughs> that's normally when um, what's what's her brother's name? I can't remember. Stacy's brother, the one who's supposed to cuddle or whatever. Jay. Jason, I see. Jason. Yeah, yeah. So when it's normally when he turns up after he's always late to the party or whatever's going on, isn't he? Yeah. And they just like everyone looks at him and he looks at Bryn and Bryn looks at him and it's like, Oh, you're right and they have a cuddle and it's a good I just I just feel I just feel that this is the whole episode. I mean, the Christmas special that they did was a was a lot for them to do that. So giving us another one because this is it. This is it. They've said, yeah, like, they said there's no more. Because that was going to be it. And then they didn't realize that they left a cliffhanger at the end of it, which they know they did. They know they left a cliffhanger. All right. However, they've said, this is it. This is all you're getting. This is your lot. And I think they have to do it now because of they're all getting older. All of them. Yeah. It, it proper pains me to see. All the people that you just that you watched growing up and how they just they get older. Like I watched um I watched the roast of Tom Brady. Have you seen that? The the American footballer. Yeah, yeah I watched the roast of him. No. And some of the people on there that I used to watch and I thought I, I thought, do you know when you feel like you've you've seen them recently? Turns out you haven't. Like, have you seen Ben Affleck recently? Have you seen Ben Affleck recently? Yeah, he's fat and he always looks miserable because he's back with J-Lo, he, isn't he? He just looks, he looks so like, unhappy. He looks like he's aged about 20 years in about three years. The last His film, face was all... The last all thing like I saw of him was in that um, Prime Prime movie, um, Air, when they, when they oh. signed Michael Jordan to Nike. That was a oh yes, last the year. shoe one. Yeah, the, the shoe, shoe one. one. Yeah, the yeah. trainers. Yeah. yeah, yeah, awesome film. But then he looks like he looks like he's aged about twenty years in a couple of years. Yeah. But then Jeff, like Jeff Ross, did you ever watch roasts? Any of the roasts and the jokes that they? I, I think I saw I saw that well, on Comedy Central. I saw Bieber's one. Uh, I saw yeah. Trump's one. I didn't really the roasted some of some of the jokes that they come out with are brutal. 
Yeah. Absolutely brutal jokes. And the random and guests I'll... that they they have on there, they have like Shaquille O'Neal or Snoop Dogg, and it's like, what the fuck? How well, do you know? This, them? yeah, this one was like the biggest. This one was the biggest one they've ever done. Obviously, it was filmed in a massive um, arena. It was that big. Kevin Hart was obviously. Oh, Kevin, Kevin Hart's Hart was always there. Yeah. He was obviously, you know, hey! the uh, fucking <laughs> the globe trotter, like. But it was it was fucking funny. It was fucking funny. But at the same time, I was like, "Oh my god, man! All these motherfuckers are old." And then I realised, no, no, you're old too. Yeah, you, you're you catching are, them. <laughs> you're you're old. There's a reason why you've got this fucking big fucking beard, and you know, you've got a fucking shelf hanging over the toy box. <laughs> That's a good analogy. I like that. I like that. <laughs> veranda, veranda, veranda over the toy shop. <laughs> but then. Like you said, you don't want Only Fools and Horses to do another one, but I don't. There's, Personally, there's, I don't. Because... There's no, there's no sitcoms anymore, is there? They don't make sitcoms anymore, like they used to. No. What? what what's? I mean, all they're the all very have finished. They're all very Americanized, aren't they? They're all very millennial as well. And you the know, s- style. Like, they have to tick every si- box. You know, yeah. they don't really make anything any good anymore. I mean, come on, man! Half of the sitcoms they could never get away with what they said. Oh no! Back then to now, and even at that point, you know, as a kid when I was watching, I, n- I never understood half the. No, that's what I mean. You I don't older. understand that joke. Even now, I I will see an episode, especially of Only Fools and Horses, and I'm like, "Fuck, you know, that's a bit close." You know. Yeah, when they talk about. But, yeah, shut up, Michael. <laughs> yes, Please, shut up. Well, you you yeah. just back then it would have been perfectly normal to talk about it. It's not now. Yeah. You know. It's just, it's a different time. And I, I hate that as an excuse, though. I hate that as an excuse of, from, from what's been done in the past. It's like, it was a different they time sh- back then. They should never change history. You should either learn from it or just accept it. Don't try and change oh, yeah, it. Learn from Don't it. try. Because like they did with um, Fairy Turn in New York, the song, they had that word in that at the time, oh, yeah. that at the time wasn't a derogatory term. Wasn't, but then someone's been passed on to yeah. that. Yeah. It's been now, associated to that. And now Radio 1 never play that song, which is perfect. But then, you know, they didn't tell Mr. Brains to get rid of his, did they? So, they didn't say, Mr. Brains, you can't call them that anymore. Oh, no, yeah. I used to like them, you know, in the microwave. Well, exactly. Yeah, yeah. nice. But no one said, you know, today, you can't call it that anymore, mate. You're out of that. Exactly. So, you know, oh, it's mate. idiots. It's- but it's yeah, funny world. It's, TV world it's has funny old world. totally changed. Mm-hmm. Um, that's why. Oh yeah. Like Netflix and that, so they they go for more serious shows, don't they? With drama I and mean, excitement, and I'm currently watching Net- Manifest. I've never seen Manifest before. I'm on second series of Manifest now. Very Manifest, good. Man. I'm like hooked. Oh no, no. Well, they all go on the plane. That's the plane one. And, yeah, and they disappear yeah, yeah. for five years, but it's like twenty minutes for them, and they come back and. That it's a miracle, and it's like, oh wow, and it just the story mm. just goes on and on. I can't be dealing with bullshit, mate. I just can't be dealing with bullshit. I like realism, you know. I I love you know you spring weren't me, real, you know. You in, you introduced me to um, designated survivor well, from start to finished. Oh, I fucking love that! Immense fucking show that is. That is. You introduced me to that, and I fucking love that show. Uh, I remember. I remember one weekend we were finished on a Friday. And it was our weekend off, and we both still worked at that last place. And um, I come up, it come up on my phone, Netflix. Oh, Designated Survivor Series Three has just come out, and I'm like, right, the Mrs. was away. That's my weekend sorted. I was fucking so happy that weekend. And I fucking binged it. Such a good series. It's Such awesome. a good series. It's, it's amazing how they film shows like that. I mean, it must take ages. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So long. I think about any show, though. I always think, yeah. fuck, I mean, it must have took so long to film this. So, America's banning TikTok. It's we, uh, apparently, that's vote. that vote's going in. Well, they've been trying to ban TikTok for ages since Trump was in. Well, apparently, they're trying to really push for it. It's gone in. It's gone in to say that the vote will be passed. Can you imagine they ban it in a country? They ban it. That's a, a shame. You imagine. Half of the shit that I watch in TikTok's American. Yeah, they'll have to come to England and film it. <laughs> but don't remember, don't you forget when when all this shit was going down with China, because obviously China owned TikTok, 
and Americans thought they were being spied on, so they were trying to ban it. They also mm. Google took all of their software off the Huawei phone, didn't they? Because the Huawei phone was Chinese, and they thought they were hacking them. So they took Google off, they took YouTube off, they took whatever else is associated with with Google products. And it's like how I don't understand it? all this hacking bullshit. There was more of it yesterday, and then obviously all the. Um, immigration systems went down at the airports yesterday which was I, a big thing because obviously they? i didn't hear that well basically no one could get through they basically everyone was ah. standstill because all the yeah, electronic okay. gates all the electronic gates that you have to <laughs> you fucking idiot even british people could get through you dickhead <laughs> like, Wait, oh, that's just funny like, imagine all that time in the airport you gotta fucking sit there waiting fucking hell people you know what british people are like like they've been there. They've been queuing for twenty minutes. They need water and somewhere to stay and reimburse them for their entire holiday. Yeah, I get but it. yeah, no. So that went. I don't get this hacking shit. Like, why? Like, why? Yeah. Why are you doing it? What? What is wrong with people? I always think about these fucking idiots, right? The idiots that fuck up the world. You know, the the dicks of the world that really just want to. Do you know what I mean? They're angry because they didn't get their wanted what they wanted for Christmas, and now they're like, "I'm going to start a war." Shit. Like you know, I'm going to. Bl- Gonna block, yeah, like traffic wardens or fucking, you know, fucking world leaders or fucking people that fucking yeah. cause fucking drama. Like, I always think, what do they do at the end of the day? At the end yeah. of the day, when all said and done, and they've done their bit, they've done their bit of shit on the planet. What do they do? Do they go home and just think, I'm just gonna get a takeaway? I think. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I, think gonna... it, I think it's all an act. All the bullshit you see on news bulletins and TV and press conferences, I think it's just just an act. They go home and fucking watch Emmerdale. This is what I'm saying. <laughs> like, yeah, what, no. what they, like, can you imagine, like, if you, if you realise that Vladimir Putin was a bit massive Coronation Street fan, or he, lo- he would love Friends. Can you imagine he was, like, a massive fan of Friends? He just I went bet, home at the end of the I day. he fucking was. As well. I bet he sits there, his big telly, watching Friends on repeat. Just sits there. <laughs> Just sits there thinking, <laughs> I'm gonna get, a, I'm gonna get a delivery room. I'm gonna fucking you. Honestly, the all all this shit can wait till tomorrow. Don't don't come at me about fucking. We need this, need that. We're not flying planes here. No, we're gonna go home. We're gonna put friends on. We're gonna order a Domino's. <laughs> you never. Are know. they normal? They must be normal at some point. This is what I mean, right? They're, they're, they're all criminals in the eyes of the law. You know, all of them. The fucking. But then, I don't know. I, I I just, for me, that's a massive wormhole that I ain't got time to go down to realise why the fucking idiots do the things that they do. You know? Because they're all jealous. They have to compete. They have to be better. They have to stop other people, be more powerful. And that's what that all comes down to, really. I know, but powerful for who? Are you, are you really just trying to get your name in a history book? Because... The most people that are remembered are the ones that did good. You know. Yeah. There's most more, of the you time. Know, most of the time, yeah, yeah. And I'm sure we don't know the half of it. You know, we don't really know what Marcus Aurelius was really like. Nobody does. We can read the scrolls and all that. But we don't know if he was the great philosopher that we say he is. We don't know that fucking Shakespeare wasn't a crackhead. Turns out he probably could have been. Yeah, with his stories. <laughs> <laughs> you know. We don't know that the person who wrote Magic Roundabout wasn't an absolute fucking psychopath that should have been locked up years ago. On acid. <laughs> On acid. <laughs> <laughs> fucking weirdo. That show. Did you ever watch that show? They had a film out, didn't they? Like yeah, was that... 15 years ago. Was that with Zippy in it? Zippy was Rainbow with Bungle Rainbow, and George that. Yeah. And Jeffrey. Like, that, like that, that. That show. That was fucking they... rude. They were technically ser- they were they were serial killers, mate. I'm telling you, the things they like, used to say, and it's that like, oh my god, you couldn't say that. And like Pugwash as well. Pugwash, Pugwash was very rude, but people didn't oh, understand fuck. it back in the day. I oh, know, but that was on CITV. I used to fucking watch that when I used to come from school. I know semen stains. I mean, that's a character. Semen <laughs> like, stains, yeah, yeah. I couldn't yeah. say anyone else, but semen stains. Um, there were all sorts. There were all sorts. But yeah, I just think evil of the world, dickheads, sickos, weirdos, they all comes in different forms and they all pretend to be good at some point in their life. Mm. 
you know, until, you know, like, can you imagine if you were up and coming, like, being an actor, say, like, the early 2000s, and you would have realised what you were letting yourself in for? Turns out you would have, you know, would would have all these child actors, would, they, would their parents let them do it? I think they would have because of the money. Mm. But when you look at Hollywood now, I mean, all the shit that's coming about, I mean, it's just, what kind of fucking world is it? Most actors are pedos, or the women are child traffickers, and it's like, fucking hell, who is safe? You know. It, it's just weird, because they're coming out with names that you know. Like, oh, no. they're coming out in, look, and it's just like, and it gets worse. And it's like, oh, wait, wait, I can't watch that film with him anymore. Oh, fucking hell. He, oh, he's, got, he's one now? Oh, great. I'm like that with a certain actor. Yeah, fucking Tom Hanks. Fucking can't stand Tom Hanks now. But hey. Oh yeah, see, isn't it weird? Like, I love that whole. Don't get, don't get me started on that whole system Pizza, of Pizza elites. Gate. Yeah. Weird. Weird. Oh, they're gonna come, oh god. They're gonna, they're gonna come arrest us now. Hello. Do you want our address? <laughs> I don't think so, motherfucker. <laughs> I mean. You can't, it's, I mean, it's, it's not just, it's the entire world that wants answers to all this shit. Did you see that? Uh, no, yeah. no, no. We didn't, we didn't see. Did you know I'm back we on didn't keto? See. Oh, wait. Monday. Yeah, I started Monday. Because I realised. Yeah, because well, I've been. Well, it's I've been, carnival. I did 73 miles last week, so I beat the week before us by 20. It's like, fucking hell, 74, 73 miles of walking at work last night. Right. Okay, I'm going to beat this here. So today, I've done 7.8k. <laughs> yeah. you, probably did, you probably did that before you got out of bed. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do in bed? <laughs> no, I was... So, I was, so you're we, back on keto? Yeah, because I've been... Like I say, the, the amount of distance I'm doing, and I'm going home ringing wet with sweat because I'm that tired. Seeing... And I don't, I'm not really seeing any difference, and I'm not eating the calories to put it up there, you know. I'm burning like mm -hmm. 6,000 calories just on the walk in a day. That's without the two that are burning to keep me alive. Just 8,000. Mm -hmm. I do not eat 8,000 fucking calories, I tell you. I was only, I was, I think what it was, I was having rolls for lunch and rolls you know, yeah rolls rolls so I'd, I'd have three three of them i was eating biscuits as well on my break sometimes i was eating um choco pans as well the individually wrapped ones because oh, oh they're nice see 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 what yeah. i mean this is it you let you're yeah. letting yourself down. no i'm not this i'm talking like i'm a fucking saint literally i've been eating well no i haven't this week i haven't this week I've been eating well. Last week I ate well. Week before was terrible. Although I had a takeaway at the weekend. Yeah, lots of weeks right. all But I'm the same though now. I'm sick of I'm sick of realizing that I'm not seeing the results. And the only it's way difficult that I, because you're old. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, it is. But the motivation for one for long term exercise for me now is like I'll go to the gym, kill myself for one day absolutely kill myself right feel like shit for two days aching all over my chest is fucking killing because i've done way too much mm. and then i'm flat out so then now i'm doing little bits 15 minutes here an hour there half an hour there yeah. and i'm doing little bits but the main thing that i really need to draw back into my brain is to be in that calorie deficit and to have a cut off at the end of the day to say listen it's eight o'clock now no more eating after eight. Yeah. You know, have that gap in between. Because if I don't have the gap in between, then my body's not having that chance to fucking digest the food, get the nutrients from it, and fucking shit it out. I'm just feeling... That's my problem. Sitting in front of the TV in the evening, I get peckish every time I'm sat there. Maybe it was because, like I said, you know, my hands are always busy. I don't know. But I sit there, I watch telly, you're a fucking man, come I get fucking bored, and before I know it, I'm talking myself, just going in the kitchen, going, what can I grab? 
that's the thing. I don't have that in my house, so I don't buy it in the first place. If I buy it, I go to the shop, eat in my car, and then go in the house, <laughs> like I used to. But no, I don't. I don't tend generally have them in in the house in the first place. So that that's not an issue mm. for me. Obviously, I, I can go and eat, drink coffee whenever I want. Coconut milk is really nice. But with you, as we saw last week, you're fucking hyper like a little ferret after having a fucking <laughs> bit of coffee, coffee. At, and espresso at five o'clock. Can't you have decaf? <laughs> Does decaf change it all that? Oh God, no, I wouldn't. I, I've never touched it. I've never touched it. I it wouldn't. I would it, never. It, it doesn't taste any different. Don't but want again, still not doing it. If you use a machine like you probably would, I don't know how you would yeah. de decaf. I suppose you get decaffeinated beans, don't you? Caffeinated Maybe. beans. No, so, I wouldn't do that to myself. That just seems like a very bad thing to do. Uh, I won't you, put myself you through could, that kind you of shit. Try it then. Instead of going out yeah, in no. the evening and having a fucking packet of crisps or a chocolate bar, you could have a coffee. And you'd be alright. Maybe I'll... Exactly. Maybe I'll have... Fuck all calories. Oh. You know, it's about 100 calories. Okay, but then... Can you imagine when the thought of someone going, do you want a cup of tea and a packet, a packet of chocolate hobnobs? <laughs> oh, mate. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't... I you're, watch, you're watching a film. I know, because I like tea and I don't... I mean, I like coffee and chocolate hobnobs anyway, but if someone puts that in front of you... There's so many foods if someone puts it in front of me, I'm just... You're banging it. I'm banging it. I'm like oh. a fucking... I'm like, I'm like, like it's Tom Knight all over again. <laughs> but yeah, it's I'm excited. Brown, I'm excited to be back on Keto. Took my pictures good. at very unflattering angles. So I really you like are that. bastard. <laughs> no, it's good. Like like in the, in the previous years I've done it, I've fucking buzzed off it. So... I'm hoping that this amount of exercise, I've got no excuse. My body is either got used to it and can never have it to work, or I don't know what I'm going to do. So I went just gym today, chair. though. I went gym just today. Just chair aerobics. Oh. Yeah. And uh, I've seen you went to the gym today, but you got pissed off quickly. I, did, I get fucking pissed off. I come out, yeah, it's full Explain. of kids. Explain. It's full of children, oh. yeah. Yeah, but you went at 4.30. What do you... Yeah. Um... You know, I can't help that. I finished work and I thought, fuck it, I'll go to gym now. And it wasn't the, it wasn't really the fact that it was busy because I got all the machines I wanted. I just did cardio because I couldn't be asked. Plus, I didn't want to fight for machines. But anyway, I was coming out, yeah. And then these two people, man and woman, come in, couple, fucking in their designer tracks. Fucking on the way in. Yeah, they were. They had. <laughs> <laughs> they, were, they were scissoring each other's faces. <laughs> Yeah. In the designer tracksuits. Both grey, by the way. Both grey tracksuits. Oh, oh, and the woman off. walks in. Eh, fucking. I waited for her to walk in. I thought, oh, and then. And then, obviously, they had a, they had like a pug with them. Or a French bulldog, what? something like that. On a little oh, harness. God. And then this bloke picked the dog up. And then just walked past. And didn't even thank me. And I'm like, you're a cunt. And I, I didn't what expect anything... Bit anything different of this this type of person i'm not going to name it but you know it's... you know for a fact they've got a gray crushed velvet sofa yes you know for a fact they've got a glass <laughs> mirrored coffee table you know for a fact his hand is tattooed but nowhere else is it you know <laughs> for a fact they go to Ibiza, Tenerife, Ibiza. Iron Apple, and now on their bucket list is Dubai. Yeah, you it, know they, they were like late twenties, I'd say. Oh, get a grip, you fucking twats! But they weren't dressed to go to the gym. So they had tracksuits on, but they weren't like gym tracksuits. They were like lounging social tracksuits. They were like. Airport transfer tracks. Yes, with the little <laughs> sequin bits on and the little fucking knobbly bits. Oh, I, we shouldn't talk about because it because so, people must look at us and be fucking bearded fucks. You fucking... I'm happy for them. Leave a comment and tell us we're bearded fucks and we can talk about it. You know, that, I, <laughs> this Love is it, it though. This, this is where I've got to a point now where I don't give a shit. And especially on days when I feel like I am today. Because today, do you know, like, denial. if I... 
the kind of day where you're inviting ro- do you know the kind of day where you're invited you're inviting road rage to happen you're like i just yeah. wish some mother i wish a motherfucker would beat their horn at me <laughs> like, those my, days my car's going in for hospital tomorrow i've had a, oh. a, a whirring noise i think it's a, a wheel bearing issue because it only comes on when i accelerate but the thing is i work all day in the days like the daytime when garages are open so i can't get to them so i'm having to drop it off tomorrow night and then get a lift to work and a lift home from work on friday and then hopefully my car will be fixed because they're going to look at it friday so i hate there's nothing worse than not not having having a car. car Oh, not, not having wheels. Because I, I drive everywhere at 40 mile an hour and I hear it <coughs> like that. And it's like, oh my God, that's annoying. I know it's... it's you don't realise as well. You, you know when something's wrong with your car. You know. And it's yeah, like, oh. I know. I know my brakes are currently on the way to needing doing because I can hear them. They're not oh, yeah. gone, but I can hear them when I'm starting to brake after accelerating quite a flight. Especially when you come, when I come off the motorway and I'm braking. Yeah. I can hear them. So I'm like, oh, God, they're coming up. They're coming. But at the same yeah. time, I now believe that you don't realise how lost you are without a car when you fucking don't have one. Uh-huh. It's just... It's awful. And I know, and I know it's fucking lazy for people that don't have one because, you know, I'm sure my steps would be way higher if I didn't have a fucking car. However, I've been... I'm accustomed to that life now. I can't go back from not having a car. Does your brother drive yet? Does he still I... walk, walk everywhere? No, he fucking walks everywhere. Because when I used to, we used to work with him, he would, he would walk. I'd give him a lift down quite often from work if we feel the same he, time. He walks, he cycles, and he fucking loves it. I don't think he wants to. And I, do you know what? At the same time, I'm on offensive. Do you know what? If you don't want to drive, don't. Absolutely, absolutely fine because you're you're saving a shitload of money. Fucking insurance, tax, petrol. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fuck it now. You're probably saving you like have... six grand a year, five grand a year, maybe. Mm-hmm. Depending on believe. your car. Do you have a repair fund? No. no. You just credit card it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. That is the repair fund, the credit card, because then you can pay it back when you fucking pay it back. In the, in the, in the past, I used to have little envelopes in my safe with all different, like, car... Yeah, uh, you said you did this a couple of weeks holiday. ago. Yeah. yeah. Holiday. Are you going holiday this year? I don't I don't really go on holidays. I just go you away should. ghost hunting. So I'm I'm, I'm going go- I'm going away to Cornwall. When this video comes out, it might be the week I'm going. So I'm I'm going to Cornwall for a few days, ghost hunting. So Okay. It's well nice I'll tell to you get away. When are you going so you're going what next next week? Next, we, we can next week. Okay. So obviously I'm going away soon. No, not soon. I'm going on my, my hiking trip. My oh yeah, we're brothers. So I have got all my stuff now and I've got a lot of stuff. So what I'm going to do and a lot Come of on it, Let's talk it. about it because I love camping shit. What did you buy Niall? Come on, tell me. Tell this me. is what I'm thinking. I'm so right. happy today. What's the matter with me? Oh, right. Because the thing is, right, the, pre- the preparation for this trip, for me, is it started off as basically, this is a full-on wild camp. We're going, I've always wanted to do it, and we're basically going to stop in different locations and just fucking go for it. Anyway, and then it, then it, then we said, like, listen, rather than, you know, dumping the car in one place, why don't we, why don't we book somewhere? And we've booked this wild, we've booked to basically permission to sleep on the land is what we've yeah. done. Oh, right. campsite. So, yeah, but it's not. It's not a campsite. There's nothing there. Not. They no. do, they have, at the entrance of basically where you leave your car, they have, mm. um, they have two toilets. That's it. Nothing else. There's nothing else on there. You know, and Men you can go and see. in the bush, though, so it's all right. This is it, yeah. So, it started off really small. Of basically, what are we going to need? And I was like, well, we're going to be doing a lot of walking. So I bought a backpack with a water bladder thing. Yeah. All right. And then it was like, I need to, I've got, I need to show all this shit to you. Yeah. I need to fucking show. Maybe 
what we'll do is we'll do an episode. We'll, I'll talk about it now, but we'll do an episode where basically I'll have all the shit next to me. Yeah, yeah. Because when Please I priced do. it all up, when I, I will do, I'll do it. I've, I've got all sorts of shit. I've, I've, I've literally got the last thing to buy, and that's gas. I need to buy gas for my stove. But a lot of it, I bought. Te- a lot of it, I bought Temu. Bought loads of shit off Temu because I went on to a famous camping website and priced it all up. I was like, right, tent, walking boots, fucking walking hiking trousers, hiking shorts, socks, fucking uh, head torch, water bladder, backpack, all this shit, tent, sleeping mm-hmm. bag. I bought I bought this self inflating mat thing. Yeah, um, I've got them. Well, you pump up with your feet. No, no. It's, this one is just uh, you basically undo the toggle and it self inflates itself, and then you just push more in if you want more in. Oh. But it's it's an ultra light one. However, it's a it's a three quarter one. So basically, it goes to my fucking knees. So yes, it's really light. Yes, it's really small, and yes, it's fucking brilliant. But apparently, you bottom half of your legs when it goes when it goes camping. They don't really fucking care about them because <laughs> uh, they're fine. And I was like, no, I bought a child's one here. I bought a child's one. No, I haven't. They sell three quarter ones, right? So basically, your head to your to your back of your knees is fine. Your feet just on the ground. Anyway, so I bought this stuff, and I price anyway. I priced it all up on this website, and it was coming up at like four hundred quid. And I was like, well, I ain't got that kind of money to fucking waste on one fucking one fucking camping trip that I might go on. So I was like, right. So I did a lot on Vinted. When I go through all the stuff, what I'll do is I'll tell you where I bought it and what I paid for it. Yeah. But yeah. I did a lot on I did a lot on Vinted. About a lot on Vinted. Um, and I bought all like really well known hiking gear branded stuff. Um, all really cheap. I bought a lot on Vinted, a lot on Temu. I bought my tent properly from the camping website. Mm. Um, but I've just been learning about all this shit. But I've gone. To, my mind goes, Niall, you're going camping. My mind's gone, Niall, you're going mountaineering. I've gone too far, way too far. I'm on the shit that I've been buying. So much shit. <laughs> I've bought this Arctic stove, right? This stove that doesn't go out in like 70 mile an hour winds for oh, no yeah. reason whatsoever. I don't need that. I'm going to the fucking Peak District in June. <laughs> like, I don't need this shit. I've bought this three season sleeping bag. Bear in mind, very good brand. Paid three quid for it from Vinted. So, how, same how wide is it? Oh, no, I, had, the... I had one that you could fucking move. But then I got a new one, a new one for my birthday, and it's like this wide. And it, like you say, it goes up at the top. Like this, and then comes down, and I can move about. It's fucking amazing. So that was about 30, 30 quid. That was. I paid three quid for mine. I think I, mine is a mine is a uh, Berghau- Berghaus. Berghaus. I, I couldn't tell you what mine is, but fancy yeah. brand should yeah. have been about like 40, 40 quid. I would imagine. Paid three quid for it on Vinted. Someone said they used it once. I'm probably going to use it once. No, you're not, up. because you go camping and I go camping. We can go ghost hunting and camping, Niall, and we can sit in a, in a oh, forest mate. somewhere. You've been watching said, fucking bro. I'm sleeping in my own tent, mate. You've been watching our brother. Yeah, that I don't want you in my much. tent. I, I like my space. But what I'm saying is... On, that, we, we've got on the fishing the trip? Yeah, yeah, no idea. You can stay cold. <laughs> don't worry. Um. So, yeah, so I've, been, I've, I've just been so excited about buying it all. And I was like, right. But in my head, my I know for a fact my brothers have my brothers have not one bought anything if they don't already have it. Two, if they do buy anything, they'll buy stuff about two days before they go. My mind doesn't work like that. My mind has to prepare for the unprepared. I'm like, right, I'm gonna need at least three power banks. That means I'm gonna need cables. And if I'm taking cables, that means I'm gonna need a torch. If I get a torch, I'm gonna need batteries. Cheers. All right. Yeah. And that's how it works for me. Oh, mate, I bought this chair. I bought this chair, right? That literally, you get, it's this big. Yeah, I've got one. It's, out, it's, out, it's literally right there. And it unfolds. <laughs> yeah? Have, have you got it? From, from I've got my Temu. It literally, no, no. So you open it, and it's literally about this big in a little zip black bag. Yeah, yeah, And you yeah. pull it out, 
and the legs just go in the little holes themselves. They're like, and then you just put the thing on. It's fucking, I sat in it earlier. I was thinking, this is from Temu. How's this going to go? Sat, it's comfy as shit. Is it a chair with a back or just like a stool? No chair with a back. Oh, uh, because I, I did buy a, a stool that's about that big folded up like, like oval. A tripod stool. Yeah, and then you just because I was in that shop at Riverside Outdoors, whatever it's called, and Go outdoors, yeah, yeah. I was sat. I had them all lined up along the aisle. I was fucking sit, sitting on them all. I was undoing them all, putting them on the floor, seeing which ones. But it was like six quid, and I thought, ah, oh, fuck it, just in case, you know. Oh, but, mate, I was, I was like, listen, I was saying to my brothers because we have a group chat about it, and they were saying, I was like, well, listen, at night when we're sat round, because well, you're allowed to have campfires as well on this site. That's why we cool. like the, the place where we're going. I'd hope so. Like full on, full on campfire. Oh, so like, not oh. just you, not just your stove. You can have a fuck camp as a fire as well. Yeah, yeah. So they have like they have like brick pits laid around because this oh, site cool. is not just like a it's not just a square field. It's basically like you can go a mile that way. You can go over there. You can go. It's not just a mm. square site where everyone's staying. And they they say like there's fire pit over there. You can have a fire. Anyway, so I was like, well, we're gonna be sat around. So I might as well have a chair. Yeah, right. too right. I always sit on the floor, you cross legs, <laughs> and you're ten. And then, but my mind going, well, I'm gonna. Oh, so I bought bug spray. I bought fucking yeah. bug spray in the summer. My, definitely. My, my, I honestly, I'm the fucking, I am the fucking mum of the fucking lads group that goes on fucking these trips. I bought fucking citronella candles because I was like, well, they're the best to get fucking mozzies away and fucking, they smell you know, nice. what, yeah, midges away at night. I was like, right, so I bought them. I've bought so much shit. My fucking my brothers are gonna take the piss out of me. Have you got a tent each? Yeah, yeah tent. I'm not fucking sharing with them. Fucking. I was gonna say yeah. So if you if you round up a fire pit, you got one tent here, one here, and one here. So you lock yeah. all you enclosed. In I fucking love that. Yeah. So yeah, it's literally gonna be three fucking idiots. But my mind goes, we're away for two days, and I'm gonna want a shower. So I bought. I tell you, I bought a shower. I bought a, a oh, bag <laughs> with a fucking shower. And it won't work. It will not work. Hang it over It'll... a tree. You're out there in your pants <laughs> watching. <laughs> I'm, go I'm literally going to be better off just literally wetting the fucking flannel, covering it in shower gel, rubbing my washing myself. Because I'm, mate, I have to be clean. I have a wet wipe so... wash. <laughs> oh, God. Baby wipe wash. <laughs> no, that is fucking. So yeah, so I know for me, I'm over, I'm over planning this because I'm like, well, I'm so anyway, I bought, I bought my stove thing. Yeah. I bought my stove. Basically, it's like a round stove. Is it a round like one four. or the square one? The round one. It's a round one. So basically, it's round and it's got like four feet that come off it, like two yeah, feet yeah. that way, two feet that way, yeah. and then you screw it onto the gas. Yeah. Um, bought that have for you got, Temu. Have you got you? I've seen them. Did you, they had on Timu they had uh, pots and pans in there that all like folded into each other and you'll come up come out it. separately. They're like eighteen quid I, on Timu. I nearly bought I bought them. this I bought this frying pan that has these little compartments in. Okay. <laughs> you can fry a pizza like I did. And I yeah, I bought one. I bought this flat tray. I bought this yeah. flat tray that you put over the stove and it yeah. all turns into a little like griddle thing. Griddle, yeah. So I was like, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. I bought um, I bought a GPS watch for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> That's don't, too far. That's too far. I bought a G. I bought. Bear in mind, compass. Oh, I'm just gonna get all this out. I'm just next episode. You... We'll do an episode, and I'm gonna I'm gonna get it all out. Yeah, and then what you can do, you can you can go you can basically be there and be like, this should have cost you this much. How much did you pay for it? Because this is just too far. I've gone. But I was like, right, well, I'm not taking a bag because I was thinking I need to buy, I need to buy a big bag. I've got loads of big bags to put all this in. And I was like, so I'm not taking a bag because I'm driving. It's going in my car. So I'm taking, do you know those? Because obviously I'm going to be driving right up to where we're camping. Like You said you can you know. park at the entrance to the site. Yeah, yeah. Or how you, you can. How far? Up? Depend, on, depend, depend on how far you can go. You can oh. drive and basically put your car where you're staying. It's oh, pretty right. flat. It's like just, normal it's campsite, just a bit yeah, yeah, similar. Yeah. yeah. So I'm taking. Do you know the? Do you know like the black 
tote boxes, you know, the ones that fold in each other like that. But they're this this one's like a this one's a heavy duty one. Not a that one I am. Yeah, but mine's mine's like been stolen from I don't know where it would been. Mine's been stolen from like Royal Mail sort of thing. It's all black. No, it's not. It's been stolen from Halfords. It was oh. basically I, it was like one of those black ones that they move new yeah. stock in. So I was like, well, I'm going to take that. And then all I need to do is flip it over once it's all emptied, and it's a fucking table that I can cook on. Yes. Yeah. Because I thought, ah, oh, and then my, this is what my mind thinks, though. So my mind goes, yeah, but what's going to happen? If, if it melts and then my mind, my mind goes no no yeah, yeah, yeah. don't worry about it cover it in tin foil right put a bit of tin foil over it okay the heat will be fine honestly mm, my mind's been not. over it will be don't you worry it will I'm I've not. done it in my head <laughs> I've watched a lot I've watched a lot of cat- and then I say to my brother like, what are we going to cook then and I was like don't you worry I'll cook I'm going to cook don't you worry my brother Did- will be there Did- this is why they're not fucking buying anything because you're doing everything for them. Let them buy their own food. <laughs> this is what I said. I said this to him. I said, listen, are we doing it every man for themselves or are we going to, you know, share the cooking? Because my brother's like, I'm just bringing beer. I'll just bring beer in a tent. And I know you don't understand. Like, it's not we are fun. fucking, we're fucking hiking, boys, right? My, my, my youngest brother, he's, he's all into the hiking thing. He's like, we're doing it. My other brother, he's he's in it, but he's he's cracking the jokes of all I need is beer at a tent. So <laughs> I don't know what who's turning up with what, how it's going to be, you know? Because I in my mind, that brother will literally just turn up with beer in a tent, no sleeping bag, nothing else, <laughs> beer in a tent and a pillow, and a fucking <laughs> and, a, and a Bluetooth speaker. <laughs> yeah, fuck it now. It, it does sound like a good trip, though. It will, um... Lads it'll camping. be an adventure. Fucking hell. Do you want me to come along? I'm I'll gonna... film it all for you. Make a little <coughs> video, video for you. Just video it all. Just, I'll just, be a cameraman. Just, just, just... <laughs> oh, God. That's I'll stay out of the way. <laughs> but anyway, so this is my sneaky part. Is... They've, they've got... They've, I know they've both got tents... My oldest brother said his tent takes him about 20 minutes to put up, right? Because, you know, he's not... My younger brother's borrowing a tent, so he's never going to put it... He's never put it up, and that's going to probably take him double the amount of time. It's going to take him half an hour. Yeah. My tent is going to take me probably about 6.2 seconds, maybe? Oh, uh, you got one like I got. I got one of them. It's all connected. Um, you just put it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I bought just, one of them. It's, a, it's, a, it's pop-up Oh, one. you got them pop-up ones. Yeah, the floppy ones. Yeah, they're all right. Yeah. But I bought... So I bought a good one. I bought um, I bought a blackout one. Yeah. Paid a little bit more money. It's a blackout one with vents. So I was like, I can't be doing with light fucking shining through. No. So I bought a blackout one. It's really good. Really good reviews. I've put them away before. They're easy. You literally just grab them, fold twist them in them. half, wrap yeah. them up, and twist yeah. them in. So they're going to be fucking pissed off of that when I'm literally sat there in my little click clack chair and my pop-up tent and go, hey, I'm done, boys. My mattress is inflating itself. Who wants beans? <laughs> <laughs> i tell you, one of the, the best t- memories I've had in the last year or so was when I went to, uh, went to Bath with uh, Mark. Was it Bath? We went somewhere. We went Brown Folly's Tower with Mark and Rich, and we went camping and ghost hunting. And they had them them tents that you've got. They just don't flap and go. They're done in like Easy. yeah. And uh, we had we were there at night time cooking all our food. Tent, tent, tent. It's fucking. We had our own little stoves outside each tent, cooking our food, and it was awesome. Fucking brilliant. And then Mark fucking snored all night, so we never slept. So we wanted to murder him. But yeah, see um, my. Shout out, Mark. My older, my older brother really fucking. He doesn't snore. He fucking roars. I can so, imagine he does. At that point, because I remember on my on my stag do that I, I literally I was a bunk bed above him. I did not sleep all night. 
No. Oh, fucking no. It's no, difficult, literally... isn't it, when people snore? So I'm going to take some earplugs for fucking sure. But then I listen to shit when I go to bed anyway. Although so I have got you... sleep. I'm... Well, go on, go on, go on. Yeah, Mark, was that loud? Yeah. I had fucking earphones in, listen to podcasts with over the ear headphones. Not these shitty ones. Like Papa still fucking <gasps> snore at all. Oh, fuck's sake. I hate, I, hate, I hate snorers. You're a fucking, you're a fucking weird breed of people. I think you snore yes. more as you get older. I hope I don't. Fair. I think I snore a lot now, but I'm always tired, so it's fine. Don't say the word tired. <sighs> so <laughs> anyway, that'll, that'll, that'll be my adventure that I will will do a show and tell on one of the videos. I've also got to do. I've also got to do question time for Mickey. So yes, you have. For my listeners, right. yeah. yes. What we yes. could do now in the future, me and you could go camping, and we could film an episode while we're cooking our food. Let's do it. That'd be Let's fucking awesome. Because I've got all the gear. You've now got all the gear as well. That'd be fucking brilliant. Yeah, all the okay. all the sniff. I don't do cocaine no more. <laughs> Timu sniff. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. That's what I thought. I thought. Because some of this stuff comes from Timo, I opened it and the smell of plastic was just alive. <laughs> and you'll, I was know like, oh. if you, you'll know if you made the right decision buying from them when you start to use it. <laughs> it either breaks, melts, or so, it's good. Well, then I had an order come today. I had an order come today, and I bought. Um, so I bought two. Dro- I bought two. You know, like ultimate survival hard cases. You know, like to put equipment in. Yeah, yeah, to because, keep it dry. Yeah, yeah, and protect. But they have like squashed. They have yeah. they have like triangle sponge inside. Yeah, yeah. So I bought a big one about this big, just to basically keep my power banks in. Because everyone says if your power banks get cold, they just go flat. Mm. So I bought I bought one of those just to put my power banks in. I'm a fucking because this is my problem, right? I've got a head torch. I've got a head torch that's fucking it's rechargeable. I bought one of those square lights from tiktok you know the they're amazing i've got two of them they're fucking yeah so well, I... yeah all right do you know what i'm gonna shit on your parade right i bought one today that literally Ooh. has the same one but has a light either side that pops down Ooh. nice yeah so i bought one of them all right i haven't got one of them but i'm like this is all gonna need recharging so then i bought a wind up radio i bought a wind up radio that recharges your phone. <laughs> that charges. Fuck it, so, how long is that going to take? <laughs> worse, than, worse than having a wank. I don't, no, I what don't are you doing? That's good Nothing. Work. <laughs> just, just, what? just winding up. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, because I listen to shit on my phone. If you watch stuff, because this is all right, if you, if you listen to podcasts, you can turn your phone off and your battery conserves. Yeah, it hardly ever uses anything, yeah. There's only a few apps that you, you used to be able to do with YouTube. You used to be able to close your phone and still listen to YouTube. That stopped you, years ago. You, I don't know you why. can if you you can if you pay YouTube Premium. Yeah, I think it's in that. Is that is that, is that what it is? I think if you pay out, out of app, yeah, you can. You know, like like when I watch Sky Sports on my phone, if I flip it up, yeah. it pops up in the corner like FaceTime, and I can go on all my other apps at the same time. So I don't know if you can close it, but you can be out of app with YouTube if you pay for it. There used to be, there used to be some apps where you could download YouTube's content so you could watch it offline. Yeah, yeah. Because yes, I, I remember that, I had look. That was, that was save on your mobile data, watching it on YouTube, so it won't take up as much battery if you downloaded it first. Well, I'm you just going to download it. You can do that with Netflix and that, can't you? You can download stuff. You don't have to be online to watch it. Yeah, I know, but if I'm watching it, then I'm just I'm burning battery, right? Well, you will be anyway. Whatever you watch, you're going to burn battery yeah, because you're watching it. But yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You just won't be using but the data. I... That's what I'm saying. The, I don't the think power I'll get from it. the data. So. I might get it from my GPS watch. Now, is a, is a, <laughs> sat- is a satellite phone too far? Because they're twelve hundred pound, and I've been thinking about it. <laughs> it. Turns out you can't buy a satellite phone on Temu. 
I didn't even know you could buy a satellite phone to like the normal people. I thought it was just like for the FBI and all that shit. No, you can you can buy them. You can oh, buy no. satellite phones. Did not know that. I don't need one. <laughs> okay. I said to my brother, I said, what about flares? You're going to need to take some flares just in case one of you have an accident. I said, don't worry about it, boys. I've got a whistle on my backpack. There's a little orange whistle ooh, ooh. here. What I'm you just... can do is download my, these three words app. Oh, what free words. That's what been recommended words, yeah. on every fucking wild camping survival video. Download what free words. Let them know where you are. We're going wild camping. Where are we? We're in the wild. Right? Yeah, but it will tell you where you are. So we're in God's, we're in, <clears throat> we're in God's back garden. <laughs> God's greenhouse. Fucking hell no. You're not it's going to be like, did you ever watch Max and Paddy? No, I don't like them. What? But their humour never really interested me, to be fair. Mm. Plus, everyone said I looked like Paddy with his with his bouncer <laughs> outfit on when I was on telly. When, it, when they were bouncers. He had the goatee with the black bomber jacket and I had the same. <laughs> Fuckers. Amount of fucking pictures I got sent online <laughs> when I was on the telly. Fucking hell, it's embarrassing. Oh, mate. <laughs> you do you did I never even thought of that yeah 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 you did <laughs> so yeah that's that's gonna be a fun trip we'll uh, we'll do an episode where we go through all that shit that's I it so. I don't know what we're okay. trying to plan a holiday at the moment. we're trying to plan a little summer holiday a little family summer holiday yeah. don't know what else we've got planned in the pipeline big stuff some, there's obviously some big things happening this year but you know yeah there is It'll be what it is. Nicky's won the be, lottery. I'm gonna be a granddad. Yeah, yeah. he's he's gonna oh. buy a dog, aren't you? You're getting a dog. Would you get? I'd love a dog. Would you get a dog when your fa- family's young? Or what sort of age for your kid? Oh God, I don't know. I'd get one now. I'd get there's, one now. I'd get one there's now. a lot of a lot of controversy um, about fucking when to get a dog, when's right to get. Yeah. The thing is, if I if I get a dog, I'm a dog. You get a dog, dog for life. In the story, exactly. Yeah, it's a novelty for Don't, everybody else, but there's always that one listen, family member that has to walk it, buy the dog food, feed the dog, vets you know. bills, all of it. Yeah. Like my sure childhood is. dog, I got my childhood dog for my thirteenth, fourteenth birthday, and she died a couple of years ago. Hmm. And fuck me, yeah, that dog was that dog was everything. Yeah. So then. For me to get a dog, I don't know. It'd have to be. It's a big it'd have commitment. to be. It is, and plus one of our one of our things we said about is we like to travel. We travel every yeah, weekend. Yeah. We stay in we stay in hotels. We we go fucking. We, we'll jump. We'll we we'll have we'll have no plans for tomorrow. But yeah, by nine o'clock tonight, we might have booked a plane ticket for tomorrow morning. So we we haven't got time for it, and I don't believe that you should get a dog and make somebody else look after it you know mm. your dog is your dog and at the end of the day they know you as your family so if you start exactly. ditching your dog mm. you're gonna get yourself one naughty fucking dog yeah, it's gonna be heartbroken <coughs> well. i'm starving i need some food yeah good way to end then another episode dad's lads that can be abs that's right i could murder i could murder Mixed on her, mixed on her, tomatoes, onions, thousand iron sauce with a little bit of chili, no, no bread or anything. I could kill for that right now. Mm. Could do it. Mm. It's technically keto, isn't it? Tomato, not so much, but yeah. You can't have tomato. No, I only have green vegetables when I'm on keto. Cucumber, broccoli, spinach, Brussels. Do you eat avocados? I fucking love avocados. Oh, you're such a cunt. You fucking fuck off. <laughs> you're a dickhead. I knew you'd I knew there was fucking something dodgy about you. And I couldn't put my finger on it. And now it's it is more than just you're a, <laughs> Yeah, I fucking know there is. You're a fucking weirdo, mate. But on that note, people, we love you. Thanks for joining us on another episode of Dad's Lads and Kebabs. If you've enjoyed our show, leave a comment. 
like, follow, subscribe, share, or just send us some money because we need Download. that too. Yeah. Download. Anyway, deuces. Fuck off. <laughs>